Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. My name's Richard uh, and I've been asked on a number of occasions to review and, and define the differences between the original aerospace and the current B70 aerospace. Uh, the first thing I want to say is, let me just turn this on. It's so much easier to read the digital display on the original aerospace than it is on the B70. The B70 is slightly dimmer and slightly more difficult to read. However, that's the start. So what we're going to do is go through the functions of each of the watchers Excuse my dirty hands, I've been working on motorbikes and I just can't get the dirt out. Uh, I need a scrub, I need a hand brush, but uh, forgive me for that. So what we're going to do is go through the functions of the original aerospace that I've got in titanium. And then we're going to go through the functions of the B70. Again, made in, made in titanium. And you can then make a decision of which you think is the best. It's, you know, it's a, it's a case of that. But before we go into these, I'd like to introduce to you my other Breitling watch. This was my original from 1992 or 1993. And about 10 years later, maybe 12 years later, I got another uh, another brightly and I'm going to take it off and I'm going to show it you and here is my super ocean heritage uh, in well a bronze color and um, it does get a lot of attention this watch uh, because of its color uh, she's absolutely beautiful um, and, you know, if you're not looking for a digital, you're looking for a, uh, a mechanical watch, I would highly recommend these. This has been absolutely bomb-proof. Absolutely bomb-proof. Anyway, let's get into these two watches. So I'm going to put this one to the side and we're going to have a look at the original. So, rolling bike, let's roll bike, rolling bike. So we obviously have the analog display. We roll the crown to go to the functions, yeah? Rather than press the crown like you do on the B70. So we roll the crown to the functions. The first function shown is the alarm. And you can set the alarm by pressing the crown, holding it down and then setting the time and all that good stuff. The next function is the chrono, the chronograph, where you pressing the, uh, pressing the crown in sets the, sets the uh, function going. I don't often use this. Notice how it's actually staged, so it's continually, continually uh, assessing the stopwatch, uh, and on the second, on the second click, it stopped at sixteen uh, seconds, sixteen point seventy two seconds, and if I press it again, it goes to thirty four seconds. Yeah, so then I can set stop that and then hold it in and it will reset to zero. Go on, prove me wrong. Let me hold it again. There we are, it's reset to zero. Let's roll through to the next function. Advanced. Uh, I don't know what is the chrono, chrono, chrono advanced or advancing. So we set that going and we stop it and we then press it again after a few seconds. And it, it continues counting up time. Unlike the stopwatch that holds it at a particular lapsed moment in time. And then when you press it again, it then brings you back up to the current 
stopwatch time, yeah? This one just stops it and starts it again. And of course we can then press the Press the press the uh, the crown in and it resets it to zero. Rolling on, we then get to time two, time zone two. Currently, it's set at the same time as the uh, as the analog, but I can set that to another time. I don't know America, Eastern Seaboard, whatever it is. Roll it on. I have a timer function, so I can set it to three minutes to boil an egg, let's just say, and then it will go down and then spring an alarm when it hits zero. I have day, Saturday, and date, 24th, because the today is the 24th of August, 2024. Roll on again. I have seconds and date, Roll on again. I have to the time in line with the analog clock. Roll on again. And then that's the end of the functions. Let's move to the other watch. Now, at the end of this, I will put a list up of what functions are available from both of the watches. But, uh, I think they're both the same. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to the equivalent of the screen off, which is the config. You use the config to set the hands and the how long the lights stay on and all that good stuff, yeah? But let's assume that it's the same as the blank one for the original aerospace. We move forward by clicking. So I have the day, Saturday, the 24th of August, 24, 2024. We then move on. We have confirmation that the time is in 24 hours and it's currently 1349, which aligns with the analog watch, uh, the analog face. We then have another screen that says August 24 and the time now. We then go to time zone two, which on this watch is set at 11.49. And you can actually define whether it's 24 hours or 12 hours here. Currently it's set to 24 hours. I work in 24 hour clocks. We have an alarm one, and I believe we have an alarm two as well. Let's have a look. Alarm, yes, alarm two. On, oh, well, let's turn it off. There we are. So we have two alarms. So the original aerospace has one alarm. This B70, has two alarms. We have the stopwatch, which, uh, let's have a look, there we are. Let's see how this one works. We can then stop it at four seconds, 4.7 seconds, and then restart it. And it's just like the stopwatch on the original, where you can start and stop it, and it will not lap time. We can then move on. And this is lap time, so we can start and stop it. Four seconds. One, two, three, four. Let's start it again, and it should move to somewhere like 10. And it doesn't. Let's try it again. It did have lap lapse time. Oh, it does. You, you press the crown, I think. No, no, you don't. 
let me just go back to everything. Lapse time. I'm now struggling to find out where lapse time is, where he can stop it and then it keeps on counting the time. Maybe that was at the stopwatch. Let's just go back to the stopwatch one. Here we go, we're at the stopwatch. I don't often use this function, it truly is a dress watch. No, I can't find it. Let's try it once more. No, I'm obviously not doing it right. It's gotta be on here. No, not to worry, it doesn't matter. It's got a timer, like the other watch, where it counts down from three minutes so you can boil an egg and we're back to the config. So, basically, from a function perspective, except the B70 having, having two alarms, both watches are functionally exactly the same. So you might want to consider that when, uh, if you wanted to buy a B70. Now, here's the bad news. The B70 here, this is the third B70 I've got. Over, over a period of time, the hour hand seems to go slow. I understand the torque on the motor that controls the hour hand uh, is a little weak and is subsequently dragging uh, the hour hand slowly. So after a week, instead of the, um, the hands pointing directly at 12 when it's midday or midnight, the hour hand will point, the minute hand will point to 12, but the hour hand would point to somewhere like there. And then I would have to use the config, so the hour hand would be pointing here, and the minute hand would be pointing at 12. I then have to go into the config setting and constantly recalibrate the hour hand. I've taken this back to the shop and this is the third one. And the third one still has the same fault. Instead of going back to the shop, I've now emailed Breitling Direct uh, to explain the situation and ask them what what's going on when are you going to fix this problem other people are suffering this problem what are you going to do next and if i have to wait six months what i could do is i can keep this uh, this this instance of the b70 for six months and look after it like i always do and then go in and swap it out when they fix the torque setting on the hour hand. So I don't have to recalibrate it every week. Now people could say, well, that's what the calibration function's for. No, it is not. No, it is not. The calibration function is to calibrate everything on first startup. I expect the hands to be pointing accurately at the uh, dial marker points and, I, and it shouldn't I shouldn't have to recalibrate the hands on a weekly basis. Maybe we would have done that 200 years ago, but not in 2024. Now I know the movement inside this B70 is brand new and it's obviously obviously gone out untested. Uh, 
I do love the watch and I, I intend keeping it. I need to understand from Breitling what's going to happen and how long a fix, how long a fix will be to this particular watch. OK, that comes to the end. Uh, I hope this was informative. Uh, you can get the original aerospace off, I don't know, Marketplace or eBay, probably for about £1,000. Uh, the B70 costs £4,000. Uh, and I guess that's the same number in dollars. So, um, you know, it, it's it, this is a beautiful watch. This is now, what, 31 years old, 32 years old, 32. This watch is 32 years old and was absolutely stunning in the 1990s. Stunning. 32 years later, we get an aerospace where the hour hand is pointing in the wrong direction. So Breitling, what are we going to do about this? Apart from that, she's a the B70 is absolutely stunning. It's absolutely beautiful. Of course, you've got in the back there um, a piece of the balloon for the orbiter that is absolutely stunning. And the strap is beautiful. It doesn't nip your hairs on your wrist or anything like that. The strap is wonderful. The clasp is beautiful. And you can, and you can adjust the strap easily with this little button. Watch this. Let's see if I can do it. There we are. I can easily adjust it. Absolutely brilliant, yeah. Whereas on the B and the original aerospace, what we had was a spring effect, yeah. So it would stretch with your wrist, which is great. Absolute stunning watches for a reasonable price when we're talking about high-end watches. Personally, I'd never pay more than £4,000 for a watch, uh, but that's just me. That's, that's just me. And Breitling are absolutely superb, especially when this one is 32 years old and looks absolutely wonderful. And again, it's not had a majorly hard life. I'm not a bricklayer, but there we are. What do you think? Put your comments below. Was this useful? Hope so. Thanks for watching. Hope it meant something to you. Be kind to everyone. And if you're riding motorbikes with the Breitling on your wrist or any watch on your wrist, please ride safely. See you very soon. Thank you. Bye bye.